Radar technology plays a vital role, whether it's at sea, in air, or even in space. The Danish company Viable Scientific has a front seat as a leading producer of Doppler radars. Today, we're joined by Thomas Oyseth Munkholm, owner of Viable Scientific, to discuss their growth journey and next chapter. So Thomas, it's wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us in Davos. It's a pleasure being here, Oliver. Now, Viable Scientific, it started out as a family-owned company in Denmark way back in 1977. And today, it is a leader in Doppler radar technology. So why don't you give us the backstory of how it was founded exactly? Mm -hmm. I can do that. Uh, actually, my father, he bought a bankrupt company, borrowed 100,000 kroners from uh, his mother and father uh, at a high interest rate in 1977. And he started up uh, in a garage in, in, in Valby where uh, he started making uh, the radars uh, together with three other people and also my mom who, who joined as well. Um, and here it, it grew from, uh, from nothing to suddenly delivering to the U.S. Army, uh, being the preferred radar provider for the U.S. Army test ranges. Small, small radars, but today we have very big radars and we can look at space objects that are very small at more than 1,000 kilometers. Uh, so that's how it all began. And... Uh, so oh, we're yeah. here today, really, thanks to him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He and you know he he made the DNA of the company, and we're just building on that. Yeah. For everyone listening and watching this, how do we really see Doppler radar technology in everyday situations? Yeah. It's a good question. Just now, when we talk, uh, we we see it or hear it. Uh, you see it in hearing aids. Millions of people all over the world. Uh, measuring the, the blood flow was invented in Denmark. Uh, my father worked in that company. Uh, and also you hear it when you hear the ambulance or uh, a fire. And the helicopters. And the helicopter, yeah. you hear it all the time, the, the Doppler effect working. And, you know, it's a guy called Christian Doppler. He figured it out. And uh, it's just part of our lives. So a lot in health science as well. And of course, a lot in, uh, in, in the cars we have out there and also in defense and security. And when you want to see drones that are very small, you want to see that velocity change on the rotors. When it's standing still a small spy drone, it's impossible to see with a normal uh, radar. But when you know, when you can see the velocity, it pops up like noise on your screen. You know, just... And of course, position is a really key part of your company. At Viable Scientific, you have actually kept the control over every step. And I know that this is very important to your family. You develop in-house, you test on-site. How does this contribute to the reliability of your radar systems? How important is this? It's one of the key uh, things in our company because Globalization led to a lot of outsourcing and suddenly we have China and all these countries fighting against us and you have your supply chain out there, it's a big problem. Uh, and of course you want to, when you are dealing with sensitive information like from the US Army or Missile Defense Agency or wherever, then you want to make sure that you have all the technology in-house, you develop all the hardware, you make micro, uh, develop microchips, software, uh, the interface, uh, the mechanics, everything. And then my dad said, we need to produce everything as well. So we have a big production facility where we mill out big antennas, uh, all the parts going in with the electronics, the heart of the radar, the, the, the oscillator, uh, you, you, we have that ourselves and nobody can do this uh, but us. And we have the lowest noise figure on a on a uh, uh, on the screen, and that's why we see targets, small targets, that well. Um, so it's super core. And when you talk quality, we know the quality. We have full 
supply chain control. We have machines that put on chips. We have gifted people that are good with hands. And then we have all the bright minds, of course. They're all bright, but you know, some are you know, better than others. Uh, and it's just a, a very good way of doing business, a very safe business model. And a lot of people would say, just like they said to my father, don't do Doppler technology. They'll say, eh, don't do it. It's not going to work. You're going to lose money. It's not, uh, you know, economically, you, you shouldn't do it. You'll never get a return. But that's where, I, and he taught me that, that's where you stick. Then you know that you have something right and you stick to it and you just follow through. And you didn't listen to them. Uh, the company still continues to grow. In fact, you've already entered new sectors such as yes. aerospace and ballistic missile defense. How does your technology really benefit these industries, especially when we talk about safety and yeah. precision? Yeah, it's a good question. And uh, this, is a, this is a good uh, scenario for actually talking about that because, you know, you, you wouldn't see a drone out there uh, if it's 50 meters away. You wouldn't notice it. It can be this. It, it couldn't be in this room. Now I'm... I'm not paranoid, but uh, you know it could actually. Uh, and then you have the bigger drones, and you want to see those as far as possible out, and you want to know where they're coming from, where they're flying, when to hit it, should we hit it in the snow, or should we hit it above the church? And maybe you want to make sure that you don't hit, that it don't come into the World Economic Forum that close, so you, you don't want any casualties. But you need to know what's out there. It's easy to say something is out there. There's a lot of birds, there's a lot of planes. But if you don't know what, what it is, it doesn't matter. Then you'll shoot everything down. I know that the company now has incredibly large growth plans, especially mm -hmm. internationally. Yeah. And you've also teamed up with global technology leaders mm -hmm. like Tyler. So mm -hmm. how essential are these collaborations? Do you have more partnerships yeah. down the line planned? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, it's a, it's a business where you specialize and then you have bigger companies like Thales or Kongsberg that we, where they, they have the most advanced short range air defense system uh, called Nomads. And our radar is integrated into that. So there's a protocol that we live up to so we can send data on the drones or missiles or whatever is flying. And then they have the fire control system uh, uh, which will engage with a missile from deal at the moment. Uh, so they are one of our very important partners. You have Thales, you have in Charles de Gaulle, we protect with the, oh, the, the group ADP and Hologuard protect uh, the airport uh, uh, with our radars, also in the Bosch. Uh, and uh, we work very closely with the big companies, uh, defense companies in Ukraine as well because here they need to protect cities, uh, civilized people um, uh, or population, and you need to protect your soldiers at any time. You need to make it mobile so you can keep moving because then it's actually quite difficult to make the hit by, uh, from the enemy. Uh, so, so it's very, very uh, you, know, you know, important to know what's out there. And then you have trees, you have buildings, you know, if you're in a field where there's nothing, it's fairly easy to see. But here it's more difficult, for sure. And part of your role as owner is also to look ahead and plan for the future. So if I ask you, what are the biggest trends in defense and aerospace yeah. that you're paying attention to? What would you say? I would say that uh, we, we, we go to, to space. Uh, we go to to the moon and right. Uh, you're not limited. Mars, sea, you, air, sea, space. air, space. Uh, you need to be everywhere because uh, you have uh, threats everywhere. Now I I live by selling uh, <laughs> to protect right, but really it is we we see it in Denmark. We just had some news where they are flying drones in in Denmark as well, and we don't know anything about it. Um, and we just need to take that threat seriously. It can be spy drones, it can be something with uh, explosives or missiles, whatever. They are very creative. The Russians and the other uh, nations, they learn as well. 
but but uh, but we learn as well, and we have a lot of raiders in in Ukraine. Also, uh, uh, the Neptune missile that shot down at the Moscow uh, frigate that was developed, tested, and qualified with our radar. Um, and we are going all in uh, in in Ukraine, but also in in NATO to make sure that our network of radars is fully integrated into the NATO command systems, uh, both on, on Earth and in air, but also in space. You need, you need in space, when you talk hypersonic missiles, you need to actually, because it flies quite low, around the, the globe, uh, you actually need something up there. So big plans, big ambitions, but I would love to finish up with a look at you because mm -hmm. you joined the company and the family board actually when you were in high school. Mm -hmm. What would you say being in this role, being in this company has taught you? A lot. Uh, I learned a lot from, from my dad uh, and also my mother. And then I learned that you learn by doing. So when my father called, uh, uh, 12 years ago and said, Thomas, I really need you in the company. I, I, I thought I should work in Novo Nordisk or maybe Apple or something like that, you know, get some experience, but then you, you, you just do it and uh, you figure out what, you, what you're good at and then you learn the company in every corner of it. Uh, and then I've learned you need to take risk. You need to be innovative. When you have a high-tech company, you have to stay ahead all the time. Don't think about patents and all that. You'll tell your enemy whatever you're doing. Just stay ahead all the time and then you're gonna outlast the bastards, right? <laughs> so on that note, thank you so much for joining us and really being open and sharing the growth story of Bible Scientific. Thank you so much once again. It was a pleasure, thank you. Today, Viable supplies over 5,000 radars to 45 nations. And with the demand for radar technology increasing, Viable has now set its sights on boosting its footprint in international markets and growing its workforce to 700 by 2030.